So hello, uh, good morning. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank Pete Jenkins for inviting me to be here today. And of course, the audience for being here and interested in this topic. Um, it is always a great uh, pleasure to talk about our work and uh, present it to multiple audiences. And um, it is an honor to be here today in this conference about gamification. As uh, Toby said, the title of my session is called um, Gamification for All, Planning and Designing a Community-Oriented Gamification Strategy. Um, this work was developed by me and my colleagues uh, in the context of a research project called Seduce 2.0. So as you may know, my name is Francisco Regalado. I will give you a little context of me. Uh, I have a degree in New Technologies of Communication um, and a, a master's degree in multimedia communication, both from the University of Aveiro in Portugal. Uh, currently, I'm doing a PhD in information and communication and digital platforms um, in the University of Aveiro and University of Porto. And my main um, areas of interest are uh, digital platforms, uh, human computer interaction, uh, digital games, obviously, and gamification. Um, and uh, the aging studies and the, the active and healthy aging. Um, as I said, this is part of, of the team I belong to. Uh, I am part of a multidisciplinary team which focuses on assessing the impact of uh, psychological variables um, and um, online sociability of senior citizens through the use of information and communication technologies. And I come from the, the University of Aveiro. Uh, it, it is located in the center, central part of Portugal in, in a city highly characterized by its large waterways. As you can see here in this picture, we have the university, these orange buildings, and uh, we have a lot of water uh, on surrounding it. And um, some people even call it the Portuguese Venice <laughs> um, because people uh, walk uh, through the city by these boats, not like Venice, but, but they can do it uh, also. Um, this is the apartment where I am located at and where I have been doing all of my research um, and where my research center is located, the DG Media. Um, this center is highly focused on six uh, major areas, cyber culture, social media and learning, um, he health and well-being, uh, advanced technologies, social ITV, and uh, this last one, games and transmedia, uh, is where I've been developing my studies. And um, currently my PhD thesis is uh, highly focused on social games um, to older adults. So this session um, will be divided into four major moments. Firstly, I will present a little context that motivated all of this research. Um, then I will show you a little uh, of the data collection instruments that we use to design uh, the gamification strategy. And I will delve into the, the built gamification strategy. And lastly, our key results and conclusions um, that we had with this study. So to give you a little context about the research background that motivated uh, the development of the gamification mechanism um, that I'll present here today, uh, it is important to start looking firstly to online communities. And because these have, um, these are the technological context that uh, where the strategy was applied to. Um, they have emerged along with technological growth, obviously, and the low uh, cost access to the internet and the shortening of physical distances with the World Wide Web. And these spaces, uh, defined deeply by social interaction, allow the emergence of six uh, types of member roles in communities. As Pete was saying and Toby, we have lurkers, for example, um, we have moderators, mediators, professional commentators, provocateurs, and general participants. Uh, these roles were defined by priests, and they are apparently they are they are they are um, transversal to all uh, all of the context, not only online communities. And um, while lurkers may represent uh, ninety percent, nearly ninety percent of the users of an, an online community, it is possible to change this number by rewarding users for participating, for example, and uh, promoting uh, quality contributions. 
Um, therefore, um, gamification has been su suggested as an important tool to engage and foster users' participation within online platforms, uh, while capturing not only uh, their attention, but also their motivations, as we will see. This research is contextualized in a multi-tenant infrastructure, and this is more a uh, technical part of our project, um, which is we developed gamification strategy to belong to a common development context, uh, but we'll have to adapt to the specificities of uh, multiple platforms. As you can see here in this picture, we have here on the left multiple tenants, uh, which in our case are multiple platforms, multiple online communities, which which, which of them has its uh, purpose. Um, uh, but And they have obviously the same technological infrastructure. To simply put it, um, this infrastructure has to be smart enough um, to distinguish which one of the tenants is making uh, the requests and decide um, which database will fetch the data to show each of the tenants' users. Um, the platforms that are part of our multi-tenant architecture are Campus, uh, an online community for school professors and students, uh, Mion, uh, an online community for active aging, and um, Global Portuguese Scientists, which promotes contacts and recognitions um, of Portuguese scientists throughout the world. Um, but the Mion Online community was the one choose to perform this study um, since our, our close connection with the public audience. So we are with our target audience, sorry. And therefore, not only the multi-tenant issues had to be taken into account, obviously, but also the needs inherent to Mion's target audience, which uh, is the senior citizen. I must warn you: if you want to visit um, any of each, uh, any of these platforms, they are all in Portuguese, and maybe you you won't understand it. Um, we recently launched another one, another platform that is in English, but it, it wasn't available at the time that I made this presentation. So, um, but I will I can share it with you later. So, regarding the data collection. Um, a questionnaire was administered in order to assess the older adults' uh, context in terms of social media, uh, online news, uh, games usage, as well as their familiarity with gamification strategy, because we wanted to understand how would they perceive uh, these strategies that we were planning to to design, and uh, also to know which each which. Um, strategies we should design. So during the month and a half, this questionnaire was distributed. A total of 2,782 emails were sent to 16 different countries, which resulted on uh, 248 valid answers. Uh, respondents ha have an average age of 67 years old. So uh, this is, uh, um, of course, um, an older adult um, uh, sample. The results suggest that the activities they like to be valued for are activity in groups, the frequency with which they talk to other people, and debate, debate share, and react to news. Therefore, it is given we we concluded that it's given a great importance to discussion, expression of thoughts, and sharing of opinions, which are uh, important topics to consider when building a gamification strategy. And uh, regarding the respondents' use of uh, gamification in daily life, the results show that nearly 65% of respondents recognize the use of systems um, with cards, points, um, or coupons, uh, and discounts. Um, whereas the question related to the perception of gamification strategies in various contexts, um, for example, in their gamified mobile apps, uh, show that only approximately uh, Eleven percent acknowledge using gamified mobile apps, and um, we we understood that they use it, but they don't recognize using it. Um, and we were also able to assess the main motivations to use social networks um, uh, are to keep in touch with friends and family, and they see it as a way to access and share information. Moreover, their most frequent activities when accessing social networks. Uh, are reading, commenting, and sharing posts with family and friends. So after the literature review on online communities uh, and gamification and motivation and behavioral engagement, 
Um, and obviously the inputs that we had with the questionnaires, uh, respondents, as we saw, uh, a gamification prototype for online communities was proposed, as we will see next. Uh, to support this gamification system, the Octalysis framework was selected um, and its elements such as accomplishment, meaning and ownership and predictability and empowerment and empowerment were taken into account. I believe that many of you may know this framework and its relevance to the gamification system, so I will not uh, delve much into this framework and I will uh, continue to the presentation of the prototype. Uh, so when designing uh, this gamification system, there was the need to understand the way the solution would serve the multi-tenant architecture, which was obviously a major, a major challenge to us and consequently uh, take into account all the technical technical specificities that would emerge as well as the particularities of each platform and each audience uh, of each platform. Following a platform-based approach, uh, a review of the possible components to be integrated into the various platform was conducted and taking into account um, their scope while creating behavior change-led game techniques. Um, the following gamification elements were selected based all uh, on previously collected data, as I said, and the great capacity for customization uh, and an unlimited number of application cases as our, we wanted this to be applied in multiple contexts um, of, of our platforms. So we, we came up with levels, missions and events. Um, so the first element, L, uh, levels, uh, where each user has a level associated with their profile, representing their maturity level or status on the platform. Um, these levels are subdivided into missions and obviously they guide the users through the platform uh, to, help us, to help them um, figure out each of the features and connect with others. I will show you in a bit uh, some of the screens of this uh, prototype. Uh, each level, as I said, has multiple missions, and these missions are progressively more difficult, increasing the difficulty of the strategy for the, the end user. And obviously, there is the possibility to earn external rewards at the end of each level. For example, um, in, regarding the case of our community for senior citizens, we discussed, uh, for, for example, giving them um, an online subscription to an online newspaper, for example. Um, and the events uh, are similar to levels, uh, but uh, can have a predefined duration and be launched per periodically by the platform's administrators. For example, if you want to uh, create uh, an event, a Christmas event, and you want to, to make people uh, post, uh, for example, their uh, Christmas desserts, uh, you can launch an, a Christmas event and this event will have several missions and people will um, and these missions will guide people to to engage with the community uh, in this uh, Christmas way. Um, so now I will walk you through some interfaces of the gamification strategy. Here you can see the four uh, defined levels for the Mion online community. Um, they were beginner, explorer, master, and legend. Obviously, they all they all had their different uh, missions, as we will see. And here is an example of the model that introduces the user to the gamification system when they um, when they log in uh, the first time in the community. Um, and here states that they are at the beginner level. Um, and emphasizes the possibility of progress to the next levels. So all they have to do is start and uh, they will be presented with this screen at the beginning of the community. And after starting this adventure of the gamification system, uh, each user has always present uh, aggregated information concerning their progress, as you can see here, um, uh, on each mission and each level. Uh, so, as you can see here, they have four different missions. For example, they have to complete their profile, and I will uh, explore this in a bit, what, what they would have to do to complete their profile. They can become a member of a group, which is part of our, um, will, 
it's it, it's it's part of, of our um, uh, we wanted to to make them engage with the groups and uh, with the communities so it's part of this of this will that we wanted to to fulfill um they will have to leave a welcoming message in the new Mion adventure group which is a welcoming group and uh, keep up with the latest news and publication which is um Main, mainly they would have to explore the community, they would have to explore the news feed and the activities feed. And um, here on the right, it is possible to observe an aside component, which is present throughout all the platform, uh, which gives constant feedback to the user regarding their progress. Additionally, uh, and as I was saying that I would uh, um, uh, explain to you which it, we, what is the complete your profile mission. Uh, when a user clicks on a mission, for example, here, the complete your profile uh, mission, they have access to the conditions they need to perform to complete it, um, their progress information and directions through the use of links to how to complete this mission. Um, here, for example, uh, in this mission, the user would have to write something about them um, in their profile and after that have a profile picture. And finally, um, whenever your user completes a level or an event, because they're mainly the same thing, a model is triggered in real time on the user's screen, providing information uh, about the next level and or the rewards uh, received for completing um, the present level or event. Um, additionally, a gamification system was also developed for the online news, which I would like to take this opportunity to present, although, although I will not go into detail about its results because it's not the focus of this presentation, but I believe it's always interesting to, to, um, to know more about these this strategies which we implemented in this, in this community. Um, you can always further read the details of this strategy in the paper we have written. Uh, which can be found here in the in the footnotes, um, and the the Mian Online community, as I said, has a news platform uh, entirely dedicated to sharing, reading, and discussing news. And in order to fully engage um, its users with this with this topic, which is which they like a lot, but sometimes they they adopt the lurker position in the community. Uh, we developed a gamification system based on reactions to foster their engagement and their participation in the in the news platform. As can be observed in this picture, um, an award and was added to each activity, and users um, can see a list of up to four given awards, as well as a button that allows users to view um, all the awards the, that uh, all the awards given to this activity and the people who have given them. Uh, which reinforces the social connection to the awards mechanism. And uh, obviously this, this, uh, this social connection is always important when we are talking about an online community, um, which is based on this uh, social interactions. Uh, and when the award button is clicked, a model view is launched and all the, um, the awards and its description are listed. Uh, for example, they can click in each of these awards, they will see the description, and then they can assign and endorse this award to the activity, um, as you can see here in this, in this picture. Um, and another element, this last element, which is obviously uh, an addition to this, to this presentation, uh, we also added a leaderboard to the, um, to the news part of the, uh, to the news platform of the community. Um, where all the main weekly news activities are included, um, which uh, obviously we highlight the users who had the news with the most engagement because we always wanted to, to reward users, not only the, the news activity, but uh, we wanted to emphasize the, the users who had the, the news activity with most engagement. Uh, the order, this order that we can see here was established based on multiple variables with various weights, for example, uh, unique comments, total awards, number of shares, and how long ago um, this news item was published. Moving on to the implementation of the gamification system, and here is more a technical part of our, of our implementation. Um, and once again, we had to take into account the specificities of a multi-tenant environment. 
Um, here is a graphical representation of the complete your mission, uh, complete, complete your profile mission, as um, as I previously uh, presented, and um, we can see here that a person uh, is joined to a level, uh, and this level has its own mission. It, it, each level can have multiple missions, but here I only um, I only uh, may, presented one. So this mission is composed by a trigger, and this trigger evaluates if two conditions are completed. As we saw, um, this trigger um, uh, had the, the user had to to add um, a profile picture and write something about them, and they always have the progress and the completion um, status associated. So the the mechanism can evaluate uh, if the the condition. Uh, was completed, and uh, and then the progress of the level. It's obviously it, it is obviously calculated based on each progress um, uh, associated with the, the conditions, the triggers, and the missions. Um, and after that, after implementing all of this um, gamification strategy, we we moved on to the to the evaluation. Uh, and uh, this evaluation was carried with a convenience sample of 16 participants um, from universities of the third age, uh, partners of the project, with uh, an average age of 65 years old. I must warn you that it, it was really difficult, and I will say this at the end of the presentation, but it was really difficult to carry this evaluation because we were in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic. And um, as you may know, the, the, the our target audience is is a, a risky audience regarding the COVID-19 outbreak, so we had to be extra careful um, with all of the all of the evaluation uh, and uh, obviously limited limited the the, the 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 sample and the size of the sample. Um, so this evaluation was divided into two major moments. Uh, firstly, the gamification system evaluation tests relied on the defined levels and missions uh, uh, in the system itself, allowing the users to navigate through the platform without much interference from the researchers. And this first moment was much more focused on the user experience, and therefore careful attention was paid to the user interaction um, within the interface. And uh, in the second moment, a semi-structured interview was applied dialogically with the mediation of the researcher um, in order to validate uh, the gamification system and its ability to help uh, users navigate the MIOAN online community and promote um, future engagement with it. In the second moment, um, um, this evaluation was more focused on assessing the engagement and the ability of this gamification system to induce behavioral change. So regarding the key results of the first moment, uh, firstly, the initial model was read by 60% of the participants without any help, and the remaining 40% completely um, ignored it. Um, regarding the first mission, the one to complete their profile, 60% um, of the users completed it without any help, and 40% used a link um, to, to their profile available on the mission description. So they needed a little help from the system, which we we provided. So um, it is great that it, it was there. Um, and after completing the level and thus moving on to the next level, um, it was re registered that all participants, 100% of them, uh, read the model's information without any help of the researchers. Additionally, one of the participants celebrated this progress, um, stating that they were glad because uh, they were about to reach the master's level uh, and revealed feeling like a champion. <laughs> um, moving on to the second moment of the evaluation, uh, and this one more focused on the engagement and the behavioral change induced by the, the, the gamification system. As it is possible to observe in this graphic, most of the participants had the perception uh, that time passed more quickly than it actually did, possibly indicating a potential flow state. As you can see here, the, these greenish uh, bars are um, above the, the blue ones in most of the, the cases. 
Um, but there are only three exceptions um, where the blue bar is above the, the greenish one being participant one, participant five and participant eight. Uh, as you can see, there's a visible outlier, uh, participant five who spent about half an hour talking about their life, which is really common in these in this age cohorts. Uh, so obviously this increased the perceived and elapsed times and um, possibly changing their perception um, of, of time. Um, in addition, the following codes illustrate participants' opinion regarding the gamification experience as they consider it to be, uh, to help them um, in knowledge development uh, and activates their curiosity and enthusiasm while giving them satisfaction to um, continue sharing and producing content to the community. Lastly, a post-evaluation monitoring of the participants' activity was performed, and this part was really interesting because we could see um, the, the lurkers uh, becoming more proficient uh, users. Uh, and during that week, uh, we, where we performed this post-evaluation monitoring, about 73% uh, of the participants returned to the platform and interacted somehow with the content. Um, it was possible uh, to observe that users who until then had a passive posture uh, and presence in the community uh, came back and interacted with the content and it, this possibly suggests that a behavioral change was induced and uh, we were able to reduce the percentage of lurkers in the community. So in conclusion, uh, findings suggest that gamification elements uh, such as levels and missions um, with proper feedback when applied to an online community context can greatly induce users' engagement and their interests and involvement, involvement in um, an online community. Um, and moreover, empirical evidence mentions that the game elements such as levels and missions have the ability to promote engagement. Um, such elements uh, help users navigate the platform and therefore discover new features. Um, uh, the third point, uh, it is crucial to develop an engaging narrative with the, with the gamification elements. Um, then the social component is highly valued and must be always present throughout all the gamification strategies. And, and lastly, the developed system is able to induce a behavioral ch uh, change while engaging the platform's users. Additionally, um, the main differentiating point of the present pre presented system is in relation to other to others is um, its ability to integrate a multi-tenant architecture, which was um, a challenge to us um, and is, is obviously a spe specificity that brought added challenges to the entire development process, um, but, but which allows us to ensure that this gamification system can be applied to multiple contexts and um, engage uh, all of these communities that we have. Um, regarding future work and limitation, as I said, uh, this research uh, was really uh, limited by the COVID-19 outbreak, um, which limited the contact with other adults. And the second limitation, um, a convenience sample was used. So any attempts to extrapolate the results to other contexts should be undertaken with extra caution. Um, regarding further work, um, the development of gamification elements could adopt a context perspective instead of a platform-oriented approach, as we, as we did, um, which would allow the context members to create their own challenges and strategies for their context. For example, if they wanted to create a strategy for their group, um, they would they would be able to do that and uh, challenge um, the, their users in this more restrict context. Um, here are some references I use during this presentation, and I end my presentation by thanking you for your attention. And of course, I'm available to answer any questions that you uh, may have. Excellent. Thank you so much, Francisco. What a fantastic presentation. Really enjoyable. And um, what we... Um, Thank you. 
what we uh, what we've now got some time uh, for a few questions and um so please send in your questions um we're we're I'm, I'm, we're always interested to hear what you have to say and um i've got um i've got well we'll kick off with, there's one question already in the chat so let's 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 pull that up so that's um from ali razor uh have you thought about providing it as a SaaS or a white label does it come with an app where are you on the innovation scale is this just a research project or is there are there plans long term to turn this into the, the latest and greatest slack discord competitor where, where are you with it um, uh, regarding the software as a service, um, we, we didn't thought about that because we, we really wanted to apply it to all the, our communities and our contexts. Um, we never thought about providing it to other, to other communities, other online communities as a software, as a service, um, more, we wanted more like an inspiration, I believe. <laughs> but it's always interesting to to think about the, those perspectives, and obviously we will um, we will take that into account in the next yeah. projects <laughs> as we um, will develop this. Definitely, well, that's that's, that's definitely definitely a, a vote of confidence there. So there's, there's evidence of some market demand. Um, uh, I've got a question, and I'll then I'll get Albert's question. So, uh, what you you talked uh, early on in your presentation about the the activities that the community felt um, they wanted to be gamified, they wanted to be recognised for. So, could you just uh, just reiterate what what sort of community, what sort of activities do you see people saying? Yes, I'd like to I'd like to see that activity gamified, and also which activities they didn't want to see gamified. Okay, um, they they wanted to to. To be recognized for their involvement in the in the community. One thing that we noticed is that, for example, um, when they published something in the community, for example, if they posted um, a news item, for example, and they wanted to be recognized for their effort because sometimes they're really shy and they don't want to post uh, anything and they, they just want to see what others are posting. And we wanted to change this behavior. And we noticed that they like to be valued for their their effort. They want to be seen in the community, and um, this this gamification strategy really provided um, um, it was a mechanism to to recognize their effort and to 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 make them feel seen and to continue posting. That I believe those are the main activities, the activities where they interact with the community. And obviously, this this fuels the the whole community, right? Because mm -hmm. if we reward their 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 participant, their, yes, their the participation, uh, they will continue to to participate, and this yeah. it makes the the community evolve. So, and but did you look at things like? Do you look at the areas where they didn't want to be gamified as well? Because for, so, for example, on Reddit, um, if I post on Reddit, uh, I can see my post go down <laughs> if people yeah. don't like it. I mean, did you did you look into whether that was uh, that type of gamification is 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 beneficial for the community as a whole or not? Uh, we studied the, um, the the implementation of such a thing like the thumbs up and thumbs down mechanism. Uh, but we didn't move on with the with that due to technical um, uh, const construction. Con I don't know the word. <laughs> implementation. Uh, implementation. Yeah, it was it was hard to implement that in in our community, and uh, we believed that it wouldn't be very beneficial to to all of the people. So um, we wanted more a positive. Uh, mechanism and not uh, a negative one where people would thumb down things <laughs> great that sounds good now we've got we've got a uh, we've got a first connection here from uh, uh fabian on he's on he's on the facebook at the moment fabian hara did it the end. he's he's building a community uh, engagement game engine and would love to connect so maybe he can help and maybe you guys can collaborate so um, of course I'll, afterwards of course, send me a message <laughs> send him a and message and hope and I will talk to you. You can send me a message on Facebook. You can find me there. Great. <laughs> no problem Look forward at all. to that. Good. That's good. One. One. That's one for the one for the the helping each other tomorrow. I yes. Like yes. That's the, I, that's the idea at the beginning. <laughs> Great. That's that's Toby's rules for those who are just joining us. Try and comment at least once on every comment speaker. Find at least one person who can help in some way and someone who can help you. 
Um, I've got uh, time for some more questions. So uh, Albert's got a great question here. So uh, Albert's question is, do you have examples of missions for end game levels? So he's sort of interested in how the sense of belonging and community is leveraged with the longer term users. So sort of, did you get to the stage? I suppose you probably didn't in the short term, but get to no, the, did we you did. have any we, thoughts about we, Elder Game? Yeah. We planned all the, all the missions and levels and um, the end game levels were more like, um, um, people would have to um, manage, for example, a community or a group. They would have to promote this kind of engagement. It's not more, it's not such a um, produce content uh, type of levels. It's more uh, um, help other users, um, guide users, create spaces for them uh, as they are uh, more proficient in the community. So they would be able to do this and uh, they would be able to to um, to create these spaces where where content may be produced and they full, would fulfill their needs and their their colleagues needs yeah very good okay thank you hope that answers that question uh, uh good uh, victoria wants to know about your background tell us about your <laughs> photographs please yeah they're they're um here is my father and they're the grandparents of my father uh, I, I really don't know their names, but their family. <laughs> yeah, they're old family photographs. <laughs> Very good. I love it. I love it. It's great to have a good background that, that we could. Um, actually, one of the one of the things that that, that you mentioned that, um, that that sparked my interest. You 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 had a phrase where you said that there was a social connection to the awards mechanism, and I where where people could you perhaps just uh, uh, elaborate that a bit more? What were you talking about with that? Um, the, the social connection was something that we noticed, and I, I mentioned this it in, during the, this answering moment. Um, the, the people, for example, we, when, when people give awards, we wanted them to be able to see who have given them to each of the, of the, of the, of the people who produced that activity. So people would be able to click on the awards, see who, who have given them. And during our tests, we, we could notice that people would, um, would connect with the, more with the, who have given the, the awards. They would be like, oh, this person have gives, give, give, gave me this award. And there was a, like an instant connection. And after that, they would interact more with their content. And uh, this way, I believe we... Um, we generated here like a social interaction thing where people connect with each other through the awards and they award each other because they know each other and they start knowing each other because they uh, award their items. Yeah, that's so interesting, isn't it? That, that So that we're interested in not just the, I mean, I think that's very interesting, isn't it? That these communities is that so, so often the, because the medium is sort of thumbs up or thumbs down or a little heart, and we tend to see, particularly on a, like a platform like a Facebook, where we just see the number. Uh, I've yeah. got two, 20 likes, or that post had 50 likes, or that 50 hearts. And and actually, that's, to some extent, that loses the granularity of the social connection, which you're talking about, is that actually it's quite interesting to know who is endorsing me? Who is liking yes, this post? Yes, absolutely. Who's also interested? And I think, yeah, I think that'd be a great uh, bias for any uh, community engagement designer would be to bias towards that, th towards, towards. I hadn't really thought of it before, but 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 towards who the, the showing the people rather than necessarily the number is is probably more is almost more interesting for me to see that people that I care about have have done it, and I suppose. Um, we see that to a certain extent with LinkedIn, don't we? On article posts, they have the photos of the people yes. who've liked it rather than just, you've got five likes. Yes, yes. And that's the social part of, of, our, of our gamification strategy that we wanted to, to, to highlight during all this development. We wanted this to be very a social, a social experience for all and not only a gamification experience because it is part of our online community. Yeah. And obviously, older adults value much this social interaction, and they want to be connected with each other, especially during this time of social distance. So we wanted to to not neglect that part of the, the gamification strategy. Yeah, absolutely fascinating. Francisco, it's been such a good talk. Thank you so much. We've really enjoyed it.
Thank you.